Texas Podcast Massacre contains spoilers and adult language. For more horror, visit us at our website at texaspodcastmassacre.com. Welcome to another episode of Texas Podcast Massacre. Coming to you from Houston, Texas. I'm your host, Mitch, and with me, as always, are my backpacking buddies, Nate. I will not be threatened by a walking meatloaf. And Lisa. I don't even have a quote. (laughs) Was there any memorable quote from this movie? What? I just said one. (laughs) Uh, You said, you made me miss. I've never missed. Yeah, no. Classic. Also, there you go. Uh, fine. Here's another one. I am a victim of your carnivorous lunar activity. All right. Classic lines. Come on. But do they come <laughs> up in everyday conversation? I mean, <laughs> I, I I talk about Mitch's lunar activity all the time. Yeah, it, it came up at lunch with random people the other day, which is not needed nor <laughs> welcome. The lizard people also came up during that talk. So. Well, the lizard people need to come up in every talk. Uh, So welcome to another episode of Texas Podcast Massacre, where each week we take a look at a different horror movie and debate a horror-related topic with our unsuspecting victim, who is usually someone uh, we would not consider a horror fan. We uh, we had some uh, new unsuspecting victims coming uh, from the countryside. Uh, There's not here. I don't know. I told him not to go into the moors, just to stay on the roads. Don't go in the moors. You know, plenty of moors we have here in Texas, Nate. And yeah, sure, Jess, <laughs> sure. Jess, uh, they're they're not here. I don't know what happened to him. Hopefully, no escaped lunatic got to him. So, Lisa, you will be our resident unsuspecting <laughs> victim. You say uh, that every week, like, yay. Yeah. Well, what's that? What's that line from uh, Ad- <laughs> Adam's Family Values where they're at the uh, the summer camp? And the uh, you know they're doing the 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 lifeguard like save someone from drowning, and she goes, "I'll play the victim." And Wednesday goes, "All, all your, your life. life." That's that's yeah, that pretty much <laughs> sums it up right there. So it's Adam's family is just that's uh, about right. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So this week we are going to be reviewing an American Werewolf in London. Uh, yeah. So Lisa was you had never seen this movie. Prior to no. us watching. I've heard of it, but I'd never seen it. Mm-hmm. Nate, how many times have you seen this movie? Uh, this is probably three for me. Three? It's on, okay. it's on the low end for normally for the movies I've seen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's number three. That's good. You, Mitch? Uh, about three. Okay. You know, it's been, it's been again, years since I've, I've seen it. Although, I mean, there's certain parts of this movie I feel like I could recall vividly in detail at any point. Um, but yeah, there's some of it I keep forgetting about. <laughs> Like, like the stupid N. <laughs> We're going to get into it, but that N is or the pub. I'm excuse getting me. into the N. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll get into it. Oh, goodness. Well, we will get into it. Uh, but before we do that, let's get into this week's debate question of the week. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. <laughs> and I'm all out of bubble gum. So listen, this movie... Is it about some tourists that are in London? Well, they they start off in England, but they... They start off in northern England. Yeah. And then he goes down south to London. Yeah. No no other hospitals from from northern England. You got to see a specialist. There's only a few werewolf specialists, usually in the big <laughs> cities. That's fair. And, that seems reasonable. And so there is a, there is a sequel that is in, you know, in Paris. Oh, um, God. Future episode, American Werewolf in Paris. Yeah, of course. Just for the Bush mouth remix. <laughs> song <laughs> that's part of that well my quick my question to, to you both is outside of those two cities uh if you were going to be an american werewolf what city would you want to be an american werewolf in um nate i'll, I'll throw it over to you first yeah i thought about this i'm gonna keep it in europe okay okay um hungary right Bordering on Romania, near Transylvania. Now you know that you can't rap as a werewolf. Yes, you can't. I know this is part. That's false. You can, I can always Hungarian rap if needed. But 
uh, Hungary, you know, known for fighting against Vlad the Impaler, mm-hmm. known for the the vampires. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna br- I'm gonna bring the werewolf there. They already have the vampire lore. I'm gonna bring the werewolf a- along with it. Interesting. And maybe there's a fight between us two. You know, maybe it's like an underworld underworld Budapest. So there's multiple <laughs> lycanthropes in, in yes. Hungary already. Where's Kate and- Beckinsale at? She's, she's, <laughs> she's not doing anything, right? Let's get her back. Well, I got to assume she's ending. You know, that may come up in our sequel. I, I know Scott Speedman <laughs> isn't doing anything. Uh, I know for a fact uh, that's the case. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to say uh, an American werewolf in Budapest. Oh, nice. Lisa, we're. we're- yeah, hold on. You got the Danube River. You know, there's nice. Scenic, oh, yeah. The Parliament Building, the <laughs> Buddha Castle. There's so many great places to film some iconic scenes not quite piccadilly circus level which this movie was absolutely ridiculous with yeah like oh what are we gonna do with piccadilly circus so famous let's just go to see a porn movie all right done Uh, it could easily beat that no problem (laughs) i mean (laughs) i can go see a porn movie in hero square (laughs) and <laughs> See, I can like, raise the bar a tiny bit. Is the, is that raising the yeah, bar? I think so. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Hero Square versus Circus. I don't know. It's close. I don't know. I never. You know, when we went to London, anyway, I never went to Piccadilly Circus. So. Oh, why it looks so great in the movie? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh. No. No. It doesn't. Yeah. Um. All right, so Hungary is is on the board. Lisa, what about you? I would like to no longer be part of this conversation. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> which strip? Which strip club in yeah, some town square would to pick, you like? And you have to pick the area you're going to a porn movie in <laughs> in your city. That's part of it. That's part of this movie. You ha- yeah, that has to be. <laughs> you have to pick the city with that in mind in the back of your head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, God. that that's happening. If Mitch picks New Orleans, it's just every every building could potentially be that movie theater. That is so whole it's whole, whole street. That's, yeah. what, I'm it's saying. that's what I'm saying. It's probably projected on the side of a building. It's not <laughs> you have to go into a movie theater. All right, so Lisa, where where are you picking? So I'm I'm keeping it homegrown. Okay, but they were picking on Texas so much, so I'm gonna be a Texas. Werewolf in Alaska. I'm going to go oh 30 days a night. <laughs> <laughs> so you're also battling vampires. Yeah. yeah this is the same idea as yeah. me. We're, we're, taking the, we're taking it to the vampire yeah. areas across the world here. I'm assuming at some point they a have Texas a Texas werewolf right? in Alaska. But it's got to be the city. You got to pick a city though. So we go in Juno. We go in Nome. Anchorage. No, I liked Anchorage. Got to be somewhere slightly more remote <laughs> you, than Anchorage. You want to send them away from the cities you like. Yeah, I like Anchorage. This is a fictional movie. So? <laughs> but you like Anchorage. It wasn't fictional places, though. Think about it. If you were making this movie, you get to scout Anchorage. That could be a positive for you. Oh, so this is me as a director? Sure. Yeah, you're picking it. Oh. Then Anchorage is good. Of course, they still get light. It's not fully dark constantly. So Which would be really, really awful because they get light for like 30 minutes. So you literally like untransform and then transform right back. So you're an American werewolf that wants to travel, but not out too far yeah. out of the comforts of the U.S. <laughs> Skip right over that. An free American werewolf in, in coach. <laughs> you just fly like a shirt oh it. man, what if what if that's it? You you transform it's it's a red eye fly or you know, overnight flight. Oh Ooh. my god, that Full moon would suck. Werewolves, Werewolves on, on a plane. plane. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel Jackson does a lot of movies every year. He might <laughs> sign on for that. As long as he says he could say his trade. Like, I need line. a I need a hundredth Maserati. Let me just let's just make this happen. Okay. Oh wow. Oh my god. We have a we have a werewolves on a plane spinoff on a Texan werewolf in Anchorage. Well, we have that spinoff. We have your underworld in yeah, hung hung. Uh, no, that hunger world is that the, hunger is, world. Is that, Jesus, what's Jennifer Hungarian. Lawrence doing? <laughs> <laughs> Donald Sutherland is available. Go <laughs> see more Hoffman. Oh, we'll hologram him. We'll hologram him. Don't worry about it. I I don't know where I would I would go. Um man, I mean there's where I would actually want to go just to I mean, y'all went 
y'all are actually like purposefully trying to fight vampires. I don't know that I. I mean, I wasn't that. trying to fight. I vampires. wasn't trying either. I just want a whole long time with a full moon. Mm. You see, you could travel there during the during when it's really light, like in the summer. Mm -hmm. Then you're then you're only transforming for like twenty minutes. Actually, that's a good. That's point not so too. bad. Yeah. That's not. Oh, all right. Yeah, this is see? Getting, that's getting there you good. Go. That's getting real good. I, you know, I think for me, I mean, the the obvious answer would be Germany, right? I mean, it's how is that obvious? The birthplace of the werewolf myth, first off. Um, plus, I gotta assume there'd be other German, like other German werewolves there. So you know, other, you know, I mean, I gotta think if you're a werewolf, wouldn't you rather be in a pack? Isn't that kind of the point of being? A werewolf. So you're saying the problem with this movie is that there weren't enough werewolves around. Yeah. Or he went where the werewolves weren't. You want to have lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. That's right. <laughs> that is right. West, an American werewolf in Westeros. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, then you're you know you're, you're right there from Munich, so you still, get all the meat you want, and then still better than the ending of Game of Thrones. If, <laughs> <laughs> if we would do that. Okay, uh, so you go to Munich. Yeah, second place being Brazil, but mainly because of the uh, all you can eat smorgasbord. Both as a wolf and as a human, so you're not so like, you know, it's about the same. So you're going to like a, a all you can eat meat place as a werewolf. Well, it kind of becomes one, right? I mean, <laughs> you turn the card over, green. It's just green forever, and you just keep murdering. You people. as a you as a werewolf just running around with a green card, like it's fine. I, I'm still hungry. <laughs> just oh, laying out. Yeah. What city in Brazil are you talking about here? Ooh, that's a good Sa Sao Paulo. We got Rio. Uh, I, if, yeah, I don't know, Sao Paulo, I think. Brasilia, go to the jungle. I don't know, but you could escape it to the jungle, for sure. Yeah. But I think, it, yeah, Sao Paulo. Imagine a jungle werewolf. That's not the normal, that's not the normal story. No. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's closer, at least, with what, like, you couldn't go to Africa as a werewolf. Why not? Where, where would you hide? There's, like, huge jungles. Wait, wait, the Congo? I guess like mountains, Congo. there's caves, there's all kinds of places. I don't know. I, I saw Congo in that, the movie and I, it, no, there no, was a whole you. hidden group of gorillas in that movie. Yeah. You don't you hide where the gorillas you are. You don't know that those gorillas aren't going to be fucking with no werewolf in their area. That's not happening. They're kicking your ass. If <laughs> anything, you, show you, up. you make the gorillas like the henchmen. If anything, there's that one fucking gorilla that still talks, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> stop, stop <laughs> flirting with me. <laughs> Just stop it. <laughs> Amy, like, <laughs> Amy, stop it. <laughs> God, I gotta uh, watch Congo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you haven't watched Congo, that's that's a whole thing that just happened right yeah, now on the okay. show. Wow. Uh, that's a deep cut for, for you, Michael Crichton fan. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know. Lisa has just ejected. I from, think yeah. from the from the conversation here. I think clearly uh people who are gonna watch Congo after this uh episode yeah, are, the, are the are the real winners. <laughs> Zinge. Uh, uh if you would go to a different country as a were as an American werewolf, or for all our international listeners, if you are a European or whatever nationality uh, werewolf, where would you want to go to? Let us know at Texas Podcast Massacre at gmail.com. You can also let us know on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, a Japanese werewolf in Stockholm. Just throwing out random stuff. A Japanese werewolf in Stockholm. Yeah, yeah that could be sweet. Oh. There you go. It would be a very polite uh, werewolf, I feel like. If it was a Canadian werewolf, then sure. Well, sure. Well, the Canadian werewolf would apologize for eating you and then and then still take you to the hospital for your free health care afterwards. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, with that said, are you both ready to get into this? <laughs> Subtitle, yes. <laughs> All right, well, that will lead us into this week's movie of the week An American Werewolf in London. My friend Jack was just here. <gasps> Your dead friend, Jack. Hi, David. He told me that I will become a monster in two days. The supernatural, the power of darkness, it's all true. Please believe me. Believe what? That tomorrow night, beneath the full moon, I'll sprout hair and fangs and eat people? You'd be surprised what horrors a man is capable of. Are you all right now? I don't know. I'll let you know the next full moon. I'm a werewolf. 
you're gonna change. You'll kill people. You'll become... I know. A monster. David, don't lose control! Your control? What control? David, I can help you. No, I'm not safe to be with. You gotta stay away from me. Lisa, uh, <laughs> I don't know uh, what nothing. So you said while we were listening to the trailer, I had to watch this movie. So people are going to hear what I have to say about it. Yeah. Uh, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired <laughs> of an American werewolf in London. So Lisa, tell me, how would you as unsuspecting victim describe this movie to someone else? It's it's the classic Americans go to uh, Europe story and stick out like a sore thumb. So if this were the Griswolds, this is Cousin Eddie turns into a no, this is Clark. <laughs> Clark turns into the world. Oh, Cousin, yeah. Eddie, Cousin Eddie probably gets killed, right? Yes. Early on, yeah. Yeah, this is Clark to a T. Yeah. And then getting involved with the nurse and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is Clark Griswold. <laughs> Easy. How long were they in Europe for is the real question. Well, he was <laughs> unconscious for three weeks. But before that, I mean. Oh, I don't they think must have very just long. Started. I think they just got there. I think it was just they were going to go to Lund- like England and then go to Italy. I think they were only going to two places. Okay. That, That's yeah. what it made it sound like. They were like, we should be in Italy by now. They like, were going to meet friends in Italy, I think. Yeah. But I guess the other guy wanted to go to England and visit. The- and go to some random cities. I have a tiny, like, I get you want to do the whole backpack thing, but have a tiny yeah. plan. It would have been tighter if this had happened near closer to Stonehenge. But we're getting way already into the Outlander. Weeds. Nate, what can you tell us? An Outlander was good. An American <laughs> Werewolf in London came out. Not August, the Outlander you're thinking. <laughs> August 21st, 1981. It is 97 minutes. The director, Chicago native from the Little City Midwest, maybe heard of it. Uh, is John Landis. I have to say that every time someone's mm-hmm. from Chicago. John Landis, renowned director of not horror movies, yeah. National Lampoon's Animal House, The Blues Brothers, Trading Places, The Thriller music video. Uh, That's greatest work. The thriller. Yeah. No, uh, Michael Jackson saw this is like, yeah, get me that dude. Oh, yeah. so this was first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I That's thought it was 81. the opposite. No, Thriller's 83. Okay. So. Three Amigos, Spies Like Us, Coming to America. I mean, this is just like oh, wow. every 80s comedy movie that ever existed. This guy just crushed it. And he also made this horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> Beverly Hills Cop 3. <laughs> I was worried you were going to say Beverly Hills Ninja. The Stupids, the classic movie, The Stupids with Tom Arnold. That is a fantastic movie. I like that movie. Blues Brothers 2000. Not a fantastic yeah, movie. No. <laughs> and the last thing he directed was an episode of Franklin and Bash. So, All you right. know what? His best days are past him. Yeah. <laughs> but he's there. But yeah, that, so that's the director of, of the movie. Um, the budget for the movie was $5.8 million and it made 62 So it was a huge, huge yeah. hit. Here's the tagline which confused many people and a lot of people walked out of this movie from the director of animal house. A different kind of animal is the tagline for this movie. It's like, Oh, the guy directed animal house. Love that movie. Let me just go see this. Oh, what? No. Why? I don't like it. I know. I know it, but it seems like, and come it on, really would confuse it's people. literally werewolf in the title. If you can't figure out what animal they're talking about, well, I wonder no, it's if they, not, it's I, the tone. Not, yeah. It's, I wonder if people thought it was going to be a gruesome comedy. murders. <laughs> not, not that there's a werewolf. Yeah. yeah. Like, Oh, this werewolf's going to get into some shenanigans on, yeah. on the Jiro trip. So they thought it was teen Te- wolf. Well, no teen wolf came after this. So mm. this started the werewolf craze. This in the howling okay. came really actually the makeup guy first Oscar for best makeup in the Oscars. Cause it started this year. Won it obviously. Cause it was really good. Uh, yeah. I was working on the howling. It's like, it was kind of like a dual, uh, it was a dual, uh, kind of werewolf movie. Yeah. Interesting. Ra- space race. Uh, and this movie won wolf race. Sure. Yeah. Wolf race. Then you got teen wolf, a veritable. I did a rod <laughs> <laughs> going back to Anchorage. 
Uh, I'll be there. Yep. So yeah, John Land is a general badass yeah. for movies in the eighties. So the actor David Naughton played David Kessler. Cal Naughton Jr. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. He was in he was in Sharknado Five. <laughs> You led with a strong one. Huh? I'm, lead, I'm going reverse chronological order here. Fallout 4, the video game. He was the one of the, the voice. He was in an American Horror Story episode. Don't know the season. He was in the he was in the movie. He was in two movies in 1995 that I have to point out. One, Mirror Mirror 3, The Voyeur, which looked like one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. And uh, a little movie. He played Martin Cassera in a little movie called Ice Cream Man. No. Yes, I had not realized it. I did not recognize him. I think because we were drinking so much, we did not maybe grab all the faces <laughs> <laughs> in that movie. Oh, the ones that are in the ice cream cone. Was, was he the guy that got his head chopped off and put on an ice cream cone? I we need to look. I, I guess spoiler. We if, need to look case, up this. In case you've been for some reason sitting on watching Ice Cream Man <laughs> That's from 1995. <laughs> uh, in case some reason you've been avoiding it like the plague. Well, they, they have to watch it. You're welcome. Yeah. Amityville, A New Generation, 1993. So some horror stuff. And Hot Dog, dot, 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 the movie in 1984. <laughs> Does it really have dot, dot, dot? <laughs> yes. I was really, if you can have hot dot, 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 you got to have hot dog, dot, dot, dot. We have a wiener. You know, like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like you got to oh, have something. Wow. It can't just be the movie. Plumps when you cook it. Wait, what does that even mean? Hot dog the movie from the hit, from the hit hot dog the game, <laughs> and then coming soon, <laughs> hot dog the VR experience. Like I don't forget hot dog the musical. Yeah, hot Ooh. dog the yeah hot dog the musical sounds the best yeah. of probably all of them. Hot the hot dog experience will eventually. I be would, I definitely would not relish seeing that movie. For oh, sure. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's catch up to the rest of this. Uh, the next actor was, uh, Jack. So Jack, the alive and dead versions of himself was played by Griffin Dunn, famous character actor. And the actress, uh, Jenny Agutter was the nurse Alex Price. She was in Child's Play 2. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of famous actors and actresses in this movie because there's only three Americans there and the rest were kind of like really local, um, kind of like, you know, like they were... A lot of the actors were also in like a company of Shakespeare company at the same time. So they oh, were acting hilarious. in this movie and doing that. Not a lot of famous people in that let Shakespeare me, company. Right. Let me, let me jump in there. Like the pub people were really uh, the pub. A, an actual cult of, of pub goers. The pub people. Yeah. They look what? like it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're lying. Yeah. So the pub people, like I mentioned, this film was the first to earn the Academy Award for best makeup. And all right, Lisa, how do you think the makeup holds up? Oh my gosh. Good, right? Really good. 1981. Yeah. It's almost 40 years ago. Yeah. yeah. The first, when Jack comes, Jack, right? Yeah. yeah. When Jack comes back the first time and like all, everything's like just flapping and bloody and gross. I was like, whoa. Yeah. It looks like he has a bloody roast beef sandwich on his face, but it's. So let me ask y'all this though. We recently did the thing. So which has the better makeup? I think this does. You think this does? Dude, the debt, he decomposes every scene. Oh, yeah. That was Come well on. done. And the face, the face extension. In, in, in terms the of werewolf transformation. In terms Come of. On. Come on. In Come terms on. of just makeup. Yeah, this one. I don't know. When you think over the overall like uh, physical effects. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, the thing There's just does so thing. much. It's not that this is bad compared. It's but just, the thing is doing it with other objects. This is like a person. I know, but uh, look, I, I did not take anything away from this movie by yeah. any stretch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, by any stretch. Yeah, okay. right. Yeah, no, oh. that that the the transformation scene we'll get into, but yeah, um, it very much deserved uh, an Oscar. <laughs> okay, so there were four American work permits for this: the director, uh, the David Naughton, Griffin Dunn, and the makeup artist Rick Baker. Rick Baker claimed so that the scene that. You what you see for like what ten seconds, where he like has like the face. Yeah, uh, you know he spent months on that, and then apparently at the end, he was like, "Wait, what? That's like ten seconds of the movie. <laughs> I spent Aww. months on this." But then they went to like see it in the theater, and like people like 
or like gave a standing ovation like during that scene. He's like, okay, well, that's it was worth yeah. it. Okay, no, cool. It, yeah, and then he got incredible. an Oscar. So okay, let's not feel too bad for the guy. Yeah. All right. Um, and then he also didn't work on the Howling. So I mean, no. <laughs> really, and thriller. Yeah, and then he got to work on Thriller later. Well, uh, I don't know about that. All the movies. What do, what do, what do you mean you don't know about that? Well, retroactively, not as good of an of, of a move. But Michael Jackson's a straight rapist. But we're not talking about Michael Jackson. We're talking about this man's yeah. makeup skills. Oh yeah. no, I know. What I'm saying it's like ignore. I'm ignore, saying yeah. he, he didn't. He didn't need to be there because he was already a monster. What else Anyhow. did he do past <laughs> those? Anything? Oh, uh, I'm sure he did a lot. I didn't look into his okay. stuff too much. But all the songs in the film have the word "moon" in the title. Yeah. Which is fantastic. They use "blue moon" like four times. They used three <laughs> different versions of "blue." Moon. Yeah. Literally. No, fly me to the moon though. Disappointed. Oh, that would have been good. But were they flying anywhere? Well, it could have been, been him when he was flying to London. They could have had an extra shot at the beginning. Oh, it's the blue moon. You saw me standing alone. Yeah. Without a love in my heart. Oh, I have a <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I did love briefly. Uh, this movie, it was filmed in sequence. So from start to finish, there was no, they didn't film out of order. They filmed in the order of the movie, which like has almost never happened ever which is crazy. Uh, John Landis was in Yugoslavia fil helping film Kelly's Heroes. He saw a gypsy funeral. The body was being buried feet first wrapped in garlic as a superstition to not rise from the dead. And he's like, I'm going to go write American World in London now. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, so he wrote it? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yep. So they originally wanted to cast... Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi as the leads to this movie. He would have been even imagine, more concerned. Imagine <laughs> that. Confused. So David is Dan Aykroyd and then Jack is Belushi. Can you imagine that movie? Wow. That would be insane. It would have been good. Wolf Brothers. Oh my God. I, I don't. I A lot don't, more songs. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know how that would turn out. It would have been a totally different movie. Yeah. But uh, yes. Yeah. David Naughton was the star of the I'm a Pepper Dr Pepper commercials when he did this movie. He was then dropped as the spokesman because of all the nude scenes. Oh, <laughs> in really? This movie. Yes. Aww. It's, I mean, I think he was okay. He he was in Sharknado 5. He lost that He's Dr. Fine. Pepper money. He's fine. That's why he was in Sharknado 5, because he had no Dr. Pepper money. Yeah, yeah. he joined in at the tail end of the <laughs> franchise, not the, not the beginning. Oh, man. Rick Baker also won another Academy Award for Best Makeup on a Wolf Person movie. 2010's Benicio Del Toro vehicle, The Wolfman. Hmm. He's won makeup Oscars for two wolf movies. This is the most specific set of Oscars that's ever existed. That's his niche. That is his niche. He is rocking it. Um, uh, there's, I have so much here. So I'm, I'm just going to end on that. Okay. The, the wolf Oscars. So uh, Lisa, your overall thoughts about this one, this classic horror movie. Uh -oh. Don't, don't do that. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Don't it, this do is a classic. That. It is considered a classic. Horror. So a classic. was Texas Chainsaw Massacre and that was hot garbage. <laughs> I don't care if it's classic. Whatever. Wow. wow. This classic because it's old. <laughs> oh, oh. Spitting straight fire. Oh, man. An American dragon in London. Jesus. Yeah. Spitting it. Yeah, it I didn't. Night and I, <laughs> I didn't hate it. Uh -huh. Wait, after all that, you didn't hate it? I didn't hate it. Oh, I didn't hate it. I was My problem you to hate was, it, I just feel like nothing happened. Hold on. They, a lot of people got murdered. This took, but took, it's, took a little it's, bit. It, the pacing is really slow. But if you don't think of them as people, Nate, it, 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 go, <laughs> it doesn't. They're just, they're just English. I mean, come on. It's really slow pacing. That was my beef with it. I thought the makeup was really good. The story was okay. The, it was the pacing that got me. It was really slow. Okay, okay. There is a middle where he's convalescing. That just ta it takes a while. Yeah, it takes a long yeah. time. Well, the you know they had those dream sequences early on that are just very confusing because I got it up until well up until Nazi like, werewolves killing people. Uh, yeah, what, Rob what Zombie, like, you're welcome. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Every time that we do a movie, we're like, God damn it, they ripped, they straight ripped it off. The Rob's, burning, yeah. American Werewolf in London, same year came out, eighty one. 
Uh, yeah, everything's getting ripped off. Werewolf women of the S. I expected uh, Nicholas Cage to show up as Fu Manchu <laughs> at any given point. That'd have been great. Um, I you know I, look, this movie's great. Uh, it is a classic because of the incredible effects. Not so much the story. Um, yeah, the story that is, that the is story fair. is oh, I would almost say negligible in in this one. Yeah. Um. I, I I don't know. I just I I do like it. I I do kind of see a little bit of your point, Lisa. It, it does take a little bit, but man, where, where it shines is is yeah. Certainly the makeup. You know the. I don't know. I, Nate, what, what, what do you think about it? I like the comedy parts of the movie. There's a lot of comedic. Like every things. time Jack comes back, that's hilarious. Yeah, he, that character is just money. That was he's, really all, good. he's so encouraging. He's like, and I didn't, I think, love you. You're so great. Kill yourself. I <laughs> like, didn't man. think going into it. I didn't know that was going to happen. I didn't know he was going to keep coming back. Yeah, it's great. And like oh. the scene when they're in the theater and he's like, he really just needs to kill himself. He's like, will you wait? He's my friend. He's like my best I know, friend. It's so good. I got that. <laughs> that character is, is fantastic for me. He's probably the best character in the movie. Oh, oh uh, by far. The main guy is just a weirdo. Straight yeah. up, he is just weird, but in like a really like a almost slapstick way. He's yeah. making faces. He's like moving kind of weird. I can't even describe it. He's just yeah. a, he's just a weird, funny dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the the northern so this the, the that was filmed in Wales, but it's supposed to be northern England, just south of there. And that whole town was just like, oh yeah, like I feel like I'm in this town. Like there's a pub like that somewhere. Oh yeah. In that course. area. Mm -hmm. It's like, they're all just doing that. Yeah. The one guy's got a Texas story. Oh, oh <laughs> like my God. Every guy in the bar has got a Texas Literally, story. Literally they said that. And I told Mitch, I was like, why they got to drag us into this? Cause the Alamo. What, what he, did, he mentioned what did he the Alamo. Do that Alamo joke <laughs> was something else. <laughs> Maybe not a joke you're saying today. Probably not. No. Um, no, not in today's political climate. <laughs> well, just generally, just to be a nice person. Not, not great. <laughs> not great. Yeah. Um, no, I, I liked it. The, yeah, the comedy, the comedy really, uh, makes it the contrast of the very brutal, gory murders, uh, and the comedy. I liked, I liked that. The, the sequel American World in Paris leaned more into the comedy stuff than it did the other did way. It? What year mm -hmm. did that come out? Like 96. Oh, okay. Again, there is a Bush remix, like a, a remix of a song mm. by Bush in it. So, you know, you're right. In Who's the, the of werewolf 90. in that one? Um, Do you remember? Uh, I mean, I know, I don't know his name. I mean, I know exactly who he is. What else was he in? I've something. So he's not really that famous. No. Okay. No. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the the comedy and the actual horror stuff was good. You're joking around, everything's great. All of a sudden, it's like a scene out of Dracula inside uh, in in London, like old school Victorian foggy London, and people are just getting murdered. It is nuts. Yeah, so, there's a lot going on in this movie. Yeah. Um. So, what did y'all think about? Let's talk about the pub and. and, and okay. I guess Northern England. Look, 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 you walk into you walk into any place and you see a pentagram on the wall. Ooh, ooh, I don't care how cold it is. How cold was it? How cold was it? <laughs> you <Yeah>. ask him. <laughs> they were wearing the puffy jackets. Yeah. All right. They uh, ostensibly they walked there. You can walk a little farther. You see Maybe. the pentagram. Come on, come on, man. Let's just excuse yeah. yourself. Yeah. Like, leave. Oh, hey, sorry guys. Yeah. Pentagram. Well, you know, I don't know. I guess if they just stayed there, they would have been fine. They, they didn't have to leave. If they just kept their mouth shut, they would yeah. have been fine. Yeah. Just do like, hey, I'll, like, oh, hey, I'll, I'm going to order some beer. Well, they didn't have that much money. It doesn't look like it. It probably would have been mind. like a lot. What, what was, was it in Ireland where they did the lock-in where it's a certain point they just shut the doors and it turns more into a house party? Yeah. I mean, this is, I don't yeah. know. It's, it's a, it's a shitty werewolf hunting club. Uh, for sure. Well, they're, they're uh, just like, <laughs> well, werewolves. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the town. Well, there's werewolves. Let's just uh, you know, keep they, it to they ourselves. They the joke. Let me tell you something. If, you, if a foreigner came into, well, maybe I should, if someone came to a, a Texas bar, they wouldn't send them out with vampires unless they're, you know, I don't know. Unless it was feast. Yeah. Feast. Yeah. Well, there you go. See? I love feast. 
I know you do. That movie's so great. Just till dawn, they locked him in to keep him there. Yes. So, that's right. I mean, come on. This, this is about the same. Yeah. I, I don't know. The pub scene was just, it, it was just bizarre to me. It's ominous. It's yeah. very ominous. Oh, do you hear that? It's like this wolf howling so loud. The guy's like, I didn't hear anything. It's like, this howling is <laughs> what? shockingly loud. Yeah. It's like, it just, come on. You know, I think because of the, the pentagram, and I guess maybe just because of where horror movies are today. I mean, hell, you almost assume that this is, they are a ritualistic cult and there's more to it than just, yeah, there's just vampires running around. Or and they're just and we're just, with one. Yeah, we just got that on the wall. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like in Texas where there's like the hogs, the feral hogs, like, Oh, there's feral hogs around. Like this, yeah. this, this, this area is like, well, I guess there's werewolves. Like, you almost know. expect them to kind of come back and be like, oh yeah, we created the werewolf and we've been trying to cut down the curse of it forever. But, but nah. they very, very easily killed the werewolf. They they're killed, like, they no, killed it. no, well, we can't go save them. We can't go save them. Okay, we killed it. It's easy to kill it when it's like standing still murdering somebody. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it does make it easier. Yeah. It's kind of like planet Earth and they go down to get the water and then like the alligator comes out. It's well, this like is that. a country that does not have a lot of guns. Let's 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 remember. No, and, and then they did. It didn't seem like it. only like two people had guns. Yeah, some police officers. Okay, they brought well, it to it's not it's not Texas. <laughs> but, that's what I'm saying. The movie doesn't happen in Texas. It's a rural hunting area. <laughs> they or, have or, or any guns. of any of the central United States. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this would, I mean, this would be like a swamp hunter show on on uh, <laughs> in Louisiana. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. Um, Still rather be here than probably Louisiana. So let's talk about this healthcare system. Uh, great. This people are great. The nurses will feed you well, if no, you look, are refusing that, well, to the eat. Hel- look, look. So then so we, you skipped over the whole fact that Jack got murdered. Oh, well, yeah. They are. Well, did we? Because we mentioned Jack being murdered they go, multiple yeah, times already. No, but, but they go, the guy goes, look, stay on the road. Uh, watch out for the moonlight. Don't go on the moors. Cut to three seconds later. Just like, fuck it. Let's just go walk in the moor. Where are you? If you're trying to find a place to like stay for the night, because it's so cold, so cold, whatever the hell that means. Uh, yeah, maybe stay on the road, and they just instantly are just off roading. Well, like, it's Nate, like, my suck. my Rick Steves guide for England says <laughs> okay. that the best the best inns and bed and breakfasts are in <laughs> are, the moors, are off the beaten path. What? what yeah, what do you? This you is can, like we're not looking for a fucking Holiday Inn. We're we're in. <laughs> yeah, we're at the motel. Motel Holiday Inn. inn. That's right. I, was like, I can't work slaughtered lamb into that. <laughs> the worst name of a pub of all time. Yeah. God. Great Where's ar- the great lamb? Great. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, if you're going to have the slaughtered lamb as your name, why can't you have a, this whole scene? Food, this right? whole scene was great. I don't know. I, I, I liked the, the whole intro. I thought the townspeople were ominous werewolves. Now when uh, Jack gets murdered, it was kind of like, it was like a jump scare. Cause he's like the guy, the guy tripped and he's like, ha ah, ha, you can't run. And then as soon as his friend's getting murdered, he can run. He remembers how to yeah. run. Then he turns around and kind of like jogs back to help, to help Wait, him. What is he going to do? I don't know. He just like, kind of just like, it's like he ran to go catch like the baseball in the outfield and then he threw it and he's like, all right, I'll just jog back toward the, like the bench. It's like, what is happening? Maybe he was, ah, okay. I, I think he was a little bit of CYA activity happening because if, oh if, yeah, I tried. If it looks like he's running away from yeah. it, it looks like maybe he did it. But if he comes uh, back and he's, you know, it looks like oh, they were both attacked. You know. Yep, got it. So that's that. If you get mauled running away, and they're singing like so loudly when they're walking through. I mean, it's just like come eat us. Like it, I mean, it, this it, is it was rough. This is really this is not a good, not a. This good, is, movie is really commentary about being a good. A good Traveler. global travel, exactly. yeah, a global citizen. You know, yeah. don't be loud and rude, or you'll really get eaten by a vamp or a werewolf. I keep wanting to say vampire. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, this is not American, it's not <laughs> American vampire in London. No, it's not that. It's nah. not Queen of the Damned. <laughs> okay. um, uh, no corn songs on this one. No, there's no corn oh, songs on this. They don't. Do they have any any songs with moon in the title? Because they could then it could retroactively be added in. I I can't think of any. I mean, they've got a lot of albums. And they, they have a lot of albums. So then he's he gets magically fixed up by the townspeople. Sure. And they just kind of like, it's always shady when you do the hospital drop off. Like that's never been good. How far away is this? Town I to don't begin know. With? It is far. <laughs> nor I mean, this is like six hours of driving. Like no. it is a long the way. The bus wouldn't even take him that far. Exactly. This the guy's is, like, this is as far as I go. No. That's rough. Anyway, 
his health the healthcare in London spectacular. Look, gotta have universal healthcare. You got nurses just like what nurses feeding you three uh, hot meals a day. Yeah, the doctor basically look the doctor is a top ten cop <laughs> in a horror movie. <laughs> The doctor. He actually bothered to go back to the, the pub. doctor. Is I tell he is a top ten police person in a horror movie ever. Yeah, with with being a doctor, it is. This is amazing. I mean, yep. you can't get any better. Then, then the American guy's like, "Well, I mean, my friend died. Uh, I got to try to get home, whatever." And then he's like, "Oh, I guess the nurse will just be my girlfriend now." I mean, this is working out. It could not work out any better for this guy. It's no. it's perfect. Why didn't he go home? Oh yeah, after he recovers, like his parents will never come to see him. Uh, he doesn't go home to it's see 1981. them. 1981. I mean, come on. So You're, his friend died. It, 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 it sounds like it sounds like from what he calls back home, he's like he's like calling Smallville. Like like they're somewhere. He's calling wherever Brightburn was. He's just like they have like a like a rotary phone that you're telling me if they called you one day and said hey danny's in the hospital and his best friend just died you'd be like okay well as long as he's all right whatever (laughs) i don't know it depends crazy kids in in europe maybe maybe the crops are coming in and i can't leave (laughs) i don't know did you see their house it would they were not no they could have gone to london they're from new york i don't know they had enough money to send this kid to london and easy to find their house because the werewolf Nazis showed up very easily. <laughs> I might add. Um, <laughs> oh, Rick Baker, the he was one of the Nazis who slit his throat. He he got in the movie too, the makeup guy. Nice. Not nice. just doing the makeup. Like I got to get in this as a Nazi werewolf. Nice. Oh yeah, of course. Girl. Yeah. There you go. Um. Yeah. Why should everyone else have all the fun? Uh. I did. I did enjoy the scene of the the one nurse uh, admitting to already like checking out uh, his package while he was unconscious. That was. Oh, yeah. I mean, you get free health care, but someone's gonna be looking at your junk. So trade offs. <laughs> trade offs. <laughs> He's in the hospital. Come on. It was not medically relevant. <laughs> <laughs> and they and then and then uh, you don't go to the hos- hospital. They're just like, well, you're here, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, yeah. Do- <laughs> And then you're like, oh, he's Jewish. I think he's Jewish. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. This, is, this is a joke. Classic. Oh. Uh, so yeah, that was fun. So this hospital scene or the hospital part of the movie takes a long time. Lisa. I'll, I'll give you that. This is the lull. Yes. This is the lull of it the movie. It drags on a bit. Very beginning, kind of weird, ominous, a uh, uh, very quick murder. Like, oh, okay, all right. And then he's in the hospital for like 25 minutes or more. It is it seemed like a very long time. Am I wrong on this? No, no, it's, it's no, it was long. It was long. Yeah. yeah. Now he gets out and the first thing he does is like, well, I'm out. Might as well make the, make be the boyfriend to the nurse. She took care of me so I can just well, stay like, at her place. I don't, he didn't decide this. She did. <laughs> I was like, I'm just, I guess I'll stay at your place for free. Okay. That's not, huh. that sounds good. Huh. You know, I'm, I could try to get home, but it might, cause my friend died. Uh, but yeah, yeah hey, I, I know you're going through out. a lot of trauma, but you're very hot. So why don't you come back to my place? <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you forget all about your friend. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Wow. But more of a Cockney accent. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, well, yeah. Tell that's, me that's not pretty, basically what happened, Nate. <laughs> I, I don't know. Now, uh, when... David's in the hospital. He does see Jack, I think, for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, kill yourself. He's like, wait, what? He's like, kill yourself. He's like, look, I love you, bro, but I can't move on <laughs> yeah, unless like, you're gone. Bro, man. So I do wish. me a solid and whoosh. Yeah, kill yourself. So then he's like, oh, okay, well, I'm just, you know, maybe I have PTSD from seeing a werewolf kill my friend. That's fair. And he basically admits later that he is a werewolf, but he does nothing about it. Which is yeah. Insane. He tries to get himself arrested, and then he now, okay. just does nothing. Gee, if you want to get yourself arrested, you can get yourself arrested. Just punch the cop. Punch the cop. It's not that difficult. No. Right. I mean, it's probably the easiest thing you. There's can a big fucking do. river to go throw yourself into. I I don't know. There's a lot of options here. Yeah. I, go no. streaking. Do anything. He can yeah. do anything. He did that later in the movie with some balloons. Now there's a sex scene. There's a there's a Van Morrison moon dance sex scene in this. 
but they had to cut down to get an R rating. So, oh my gosh, yeah, they cut it. They it cut, cut it down. down. It was cut down. All right. So, yeah. Oh, there you go. If that's what you came to the movie yeah, for, if that's what you it's came there. There was a fake porn. There's a porn movie. Yes. A fake porn movie they filmed to be in this movie. Well, yeah, you don't want to pay licensing. I mean, that. <laughs> <laughs> you I don't mean, want to have to deal with royalties to porn movie, companies, got, I mean, You got to pay that shit forever. If that's your type of movie, you got a couple uh, areas uh, there. Sorry. I the, was. Yeah, no, you're going to say exactly what I'm going to say. Go in ahead. that movie, when that guy walks in, <laughs> he's like, I told you never to do this. He's like, who are you talking to? I wasn't talking to you. I've never seen you before in my life. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, that was, look, that I, was, I don't know why I, gold. I never remembered that from long ago. Uh, it's gold. Uh, best part of the movie. Yeah. Literally the 10 fake out of porn that movie scene inside its own, this movie. 10 out of 10 is a highlight. It, it is pornception gets 10 out of 10 is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's surprisingly hilarious. Yeah. So, okay. So this let's is our, Oh, sorry. This is an no. R rated movie. I'm just going to throw that out there. Yeah. Don't, this is not a kid's movie by any stretch of the imagination. Let's, so. let's talk about this murder spree, Nate. Well, first Jack comes back again and he's like, yeah, I'm a werewolf. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Look, I, I feel great. And then later that night, yikes. How? When Bad Moon Rising is playing, oh, God. God, it's so good. Now, the music's so great. Now, Lisa, your thoughts about this transformation scene. Ooh. I mean, what part, was there one part about in within this transformation that really stuck out to you that you were like, oh, shit? I don't know. The whole thing was good. The, like, lengthening of his hands and yeah, his start, feet ooh. and everything. Yeah. yeah. The hand, yeah, I remember when I first saw the it. Hand that, the hand is surprisingly cool good. Until he, like, goes to lay forward because then it yeah. looks so club hand. You're like, oh, no. But then the, the snout. The, 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 the face, face is, is spectacular. It, it, it holds up perfectly. Yeah. It's very good. It's better than all the CGI, practically. Oh, yeah. Anything comparable. It's yeah. spectacular. Yeah. Took six days to film that scene. Oh, I bet. It was like a lot of time. A lot of hair. And the guy's like, I am guy. in like him and Griffin Dunn, Jack, or are just in makeup. Like imagine the whole movie. You're just in like the thickest makeup yeah. of all time. But even that like a lot. In yeah, this movie. Even even his back, like the, the, the bones spine, spur and the spine, the like spine raise. And it's, Man, it's good. It's uh, real good. Yeah. This is a high yeah. benchmark for werewolf transformations. Yeah. Now, okay, so let's talk through. So he goes on a murderous rampage and kills a number of, Six of people. folks. Yeah, yeah. What did? What were your thoughts about this, Lisa? Um, was it scary to you? Was it? Uh, no, not really scary. I mean, you know it's gonna happen. Yeah. Like, did you, you see hear it something? coming? Do you hear something? Oh, oh. Uh, a oh, three homeless guys sitting by Look, the river. Yeah, this, no, you're dead. Uh, the only thing is that I thought that the guy that came out to check on the noise with his cocktail in his hand <laughs> yeah. was also going to get it. No, and he, I was upset when he, he did it. He just stepped on like an arm. <laughs> yeah. He just wipes his shoe off. Now, I'm going like, to do, do a what would I do differently? What yeah. would I do differently? Walk on roads. <laughs> Can we, can we, everyone is off. Can we walk on movie? roads, please? Go in the front fucking door. Yeah, go in the front. Do yeah. Also, did the dog survive.com? Yes, it did because it had the foresight to run away. Well, yeah, fuck this noise. I'm out. like, oh, that's a brave dog. Yeah, because it ran away. And the wolves survived. Animals did well in this movie. You think the lambs and the truck survived? Yeah, everyone, yeah. all the animals do well in this one. So yeah, this is Lisa approved. Uh, on this one. Yeah. No. Does the dog not die? Dot com. Yeah. <laughs> yes. No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, when the guy steps on the arm, that's pretty great. That's like, cool. Saying like, Oh, what squish? Oh, there's an arm. Oh, yeah. that's not good. And that was probably the easiest effect that that guy did all movie. Yeah. <laughs> so in terms of the kills, any, st any stand out? The one to me is the, the subway scene. The subway, right? Yeah. That, that, that overhead. I mean, look, we, you're going to watch this movie, particularly if you've never seen it before and you're watching it after this or before this review. Uh, and you're going to see him land on the, on the escalator or the stairs and just like, just stop. Slump. Yeah. Like you're going to be like, Oh, what the, what are you fucking doing? But that shot of the overhead looking down and you, cause you really haven't seen the wolf, the full wolf and full verb, yes. you know? Yes. And you see that first Paul head. You're like, Oh fuck. Yeah, oh, it's over. It was good. Yeah. It, was yeah. really it was good. Really good. Really good. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I think then the culmination of that, right, when they're in the theater and they're all talking to him and they're introducing themselves like, oh, this is so-and-so and so-and-so that you just murdered. But the best part of that scene to me was when they're listing off all the deaths. Well, you know, there's, there's, he could drown himself. He could shoot himself. He could take that pills. Really he could do good. This. Now, I guess we need to throw this out there. So whenever someone's killed by a werewolf, they are in purgatory on earth and they can't progress until the where the afterlife dies. until the the werewolf but line, they continue but they continue the, the bloodline yeah. of the werewolves is ended so that means in theory if you are a werewolf who has killed hundreds of people there are just hundreds of ghost bodies bugging the crap bothering out you. you all the time mm-hmm. so you know luckily he had a good friend <laughs> that's the first one right yeah I mean, he's kind of the PR guy for the rest of the people he kills. He's like, okay, hold on. Let's like, let's, let's schedule let's talk this, this through. Let's talk this through a little yeah. bit. Cause then he, then he wakes up with wolves in the zoo, totally naked, total stranger danger here. Okay. Kid, he's in a bush talking to a kid like, Hey kid, give me these balloons. Yeah. What the Teach hell? your kids better than this. Don't give yeah. a naked guy in a bush balloon for two quid. This is a, this is a reverse Pennywise. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this kid got reverse yeah. Pennywise. Yeah. He gave him the balloons from where he was hiding. Yeah, yeah. These all float here, right? Uh- <laughs> so, so take it. It's give it. It's give it. Also, that coat didn't look that bad on him. The coat looked surprisingly solid. No. Yeah. You see his face when he's standing there, like Mm-mm, I can't. <laughs> he's like. I, his yeah, mannerisms that, that are was, just so at, weird. At times, yeah, at times yeah, he's I, just like he's, last day school about like the whole thing. Like, yeah. yeah, I just I think I murdered a bunch of people, but eh, this guy looks great. This guy's kind of <laughs> like a he's a mimbo to yeah. to to bring in some Seinfeld here. Um, uh, <laughs> so now so then so then everyone's on the lookout for him. Doctor Cop nails it. He gets one of the guys in the town to confess. He knows something's wrong. He doesn't think it's an actual werewolf but he thinks it's something happening in the town where he might think he's a werewolf. He figures it out. This guy's great. This guy is, is, is money. Yeah. And then the nurse is like, Oh, Hey, you were gone all night. And like you ate a bunch of people. Now you're really happy. What? <laughs> like he was very happy Yeah. about it's like when I, I got a good night's sleep for like the first time in about eight months recently. And I felt great. It felt so good. <laughs> uh, this, I, I felt how this guy looked in the movie. Yeah. I'm like, this is amazing. I cannot believe how well this was. Danny and, finally sat through the night, huh? No. <laughs> I was just You're like, I own. wasn't there. I was just off my own. But it like, was no, great. No, I got out. Uh, but no, yeah, like he feels great. So he's like, I murdered a bunch of people. I don't, I don't. So as a werewolf, you don't remember it. It's kind of, it seems weird to me. Doesn't that seem a little weird? No, because at least I think they, they, um, compensate for that by the fact that he sees his victims right so which i think is a an okay, interesting okay. which is a cool touch because most yeah. most movies like this you know it's not like vampires or werewolves are usually haunted by their victims yeah. that was yeah. a cool little yeah that, that was re- that was actually um, really good you know uh so then he's like well i murdered a bunch of people i might as well go see a porno flick i really thought- class it up really class it up in this uh this movie I mean, that's your thing. I got to think this through. Where can I go? One of the most touristy crowded places in all of London, but an adult movie theater. What, what is this guy's thought process at this point? Is he just insane? Almost. He's wearing, he's wearing, he's wearing the woman's coat. He clearly clearly thinks he's insane already. Right. Yeah. I mean, if you think you're insane, you're probably, I don't know. That's not, doesn't bode well for the insane part. Um, then all the people are, so wh- what do they say, Lisa? So it's like, one person's like, oh, one of the victims is just, so they're all in the, in the row of the movie. Yeah. Like what? You can drown yourself. Shoot yourself. Like, oh, if he messes up, he yourself. if he messes up, he won't be alive. <laughs> or he'll still be alive. I'm like, holy shit, this is ridiculous. Take pills. Yeah. But then he can mess that up too. Yeah. Car crash. Someone throws car crash out. <laughs> There's so many dead victims at this point. They're yeah. just all like a little peanut gallery. Little brain trust of it, it's yeah. pretty good. That was, was that your, was that your favorite part uh, of the movie, Lisa? Uh, no, I mean, that was a good part. I don't know. Well, I think maybe the first time Jack comes back. Cause I didn't know it was going to happen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's good. And then, so then the, the, the piece de resistance of this is that every time he comes back, he is more He's degraded. Oh that, my God. That, that was, is, that was good. That is just beautiful. Yeah. By the end, he is just 
almost a skeleton. Like it's just like a like a like a darkened, moldy skeleton. Well, I, I wonder at what point does it stop, right? Like, and then how? Yeah. And then if they're all just skeletons. How do you tell them apart? The voice. They can still talk. <laughs> Seems weird. Why would they still be disintegrating? I with their <laughs> ghosts. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. These rules. I don't know what these rules. I don't care. It's still pretty good. It's pretty good. Um. Now, of course. Uh, you know, this guy is just, this guy, sh first of all, this guy should have killed himself because he is just murdering everybody in this movie theater. It's like, it's like, you know, the moon comes every night, right? Like there, there are lunar cycles. The moon keeps happening at night and this guy does not get it at all. He's in the movie theater and it conservatively kills how many people? How many, how many are we talking here? Like a dozen? Yeah, more There's than a whole movie theater just massacred people. More than enough people who are comfortable uh, spanking it in front of other people. So <laughs> there's a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> the, a lot movie, of the movie in theater. This movie. The movie theater was not. This that was crowded. not a couple's night. It was not that. <laughs> <laughs> it was not that crowded. Uh, uh, <laughs> but then he he gets like three cops show in. He gets all of them. He yep, kills the, yep. the manager. One cop gets away. One cop does get One away. One cop gets away. That's smart. And now, and, and then even through this, the nurse and the doctor cop yeah. are right on his tail. They're almost in the exact spot. I mean, it's amazing how good yeah. this, this doctor is at uh, sleuthing. Yeah. What did, so uh, the, the coolest, you know, you asked me what the coolest death was and the subway scene's awesome, but man, these car crashes when the, the werewolf finally busts out of the, the porn theater. Yeah. Holy shit. But my question is, if you died in a car crash, so the, the werewolf didn't kill you. Doesn't it do count? You still, does it count? No, it doesn't count. I can have a physical contact. Okay. Right? Right? Is that? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. You're, you're, you're indirectly causing it. <laughs> that would, first of all, that would suck so bad. You get the indirect. How many people are going to be following you during the no. day? You, you won't be able to go see a porn movie in peace after a while. There's going to be so many. You can fill up your own whole porn theater. <laughs> oh, God. What how, happens how if the they porn all fit in the apartment? Yeah. Her what? apartment is not very big. Okay. <laughs> they, they all like, what do you got to go out the hallway for ghosts? It doesn't even make sense. Well, luckily the front window to the streets open. So you can just hop on in and <laughs> oh, that's out. That's true. Um, no. So I don't know that, that, that scene of it, just the chaos though, with all the, I mean, shit, everyone just getting like straight up, just murder, like people flying through the windshield. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's nuts. They didn't put, it wasn't just like cars hit. It was bodies flying, shit flying everywhere. Not a lot of airbags. The, Not the a lot of airbags. Slashing through people. Yeah. 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 Oh God. No. Um, it was, it was, it was an intense scene. Um, yeah. Somehow more brutal than I remember it being. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Um, well, Lisa, we, so we do get to the end and we have a beauty and the beast moment. Yeah. Taylor's all this time. She tries to reach out, reach out and touch, reach out and touch fur. Boom, 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 boom. So I was surprised that she made it. I thought she was going to die. I thought so for she sure. She thought she was going to die. I she's going to get scratched. She fell for, she fell for this dude hard. You thought she was going to get scratched? She fell for this dude hard in the hospital. I, I mean, thought they were going to be in bed together. He was going to transform and just kill her. That's fair. That's fair. Or she was going to be a, va uh, a vampire and become un the underworld uh, starts off that way. Um, I've always hunted werewolves. <laughs> by, by, by day, I'm a nurse. What if she was an undercover? Night, I'm what if she was an undercover werewolf hunter? Oh, Ooh, my God. That would have been good. That would have been, that been good. Okay. I got my sequel. Yeah. She, she's from that village. And that's yes. why she's been watching him. Yes. She got, so, oh my God, this is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. We, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so he gets, he gets shot multiple times and, yeah. is, and is, Bonnie and Clyde. Dead. Just, what yeah. what did you think of this ending, Lisa? It was okay. It just like cut to black. Do you think he died? Yeah, I think he did. Sure. He did. Cause, because what I'm, what I'm wondering, I, so John Landis says there can be no sequel. So, and then there was later because he didn't have the rights because he's not a movie production company. Uh, yeah. But uh, of course, it's not. It's it's a weird sequel. It's not really tied to this one. It's at not. All. But it's it's, just, it's in this. It's the same premise. It's the same yeah, premise. Yeah. But is it more of a remake? But did a little bit more? Did yeah, the yeah. Northern England people know to load silver bullets in their gun, and that's why the guy died, like permanently. 
But didn't he mention something about silver and, and one of them was like just laughed yeah. at him? Yeah. Didn't Jack say, don't be stupid? Yeah. yeah. So the silver bullets wouldn't have made a difference. Oh, like he knows? He's a, he got murdered by a werewolf. What is he, an expert now? Well, yeah. And once, you're, once you're dead, you know everything. You have connections. <laughs> oh. He doesn't, I mean, know, he doesn't, I guess, he doesn't you know, know how he, he should he, kill himself. Look, he doesn't know that part. Look, that's say, for sure. Say Peter's at the gates, like, yeah, no, sorry, buddy. Look, you got killed by a werewolf. So here's here's the deal. Here, here's a manual. Go yeah. read it. Yeah. And then, and then get it's, back it's to It's like me. Beetlejuice. You get the handbook for the recently deceased. Okay. Got uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, and, okay. And okay. If you, now I'm on board with you. You see, if you okay. don't read the manual, you don't know these things. Okay. Yeah. Now I get it. Okay. Um, Solved. <laughs> Solved it. Okay. Never mind. He's oh dead. man! I mean, any any final thoughts about this this film? I I mean, it got it. So it was real slow in that middle area, and then the end is just is nuts. The last thirty minutes really pick up the pace. It yeah. it would have been nice to see a little bit extra. They did the dream sequences. They did you know they kind of that was kind of them yeah. keeping it interesting. But the end is is really good. Yeah, yeah. It it does have kind of. Uh, you know, fits and bursts, right? Like it, it's yeah. slow, then it picks up real big, then it's yep. slow, then it picks up real big. And, yeah. and in the credits, you get your third, third version of Blue Moon <laughs> in the, the movie. Which I hope you nuts. enjoy Blue Moon because you're, because getting, a you're getting a lot, a lot of, of a lot of different artists take. Uh, I mean, this the soundtrack, right? You just, I mean, you're really only buying one song, right? <laughs> yeah, he got, yeah, uh, he got turned down by a, a few different artists. There was other Moon related songs. Cat Stevens is like. <laughs> no. What is it? What is the movie about? No. No. <laughs> Bob Dylan's like, uh, I I converted to Christianity for three seconds, but during those three seconds was when he asked me. Nah. Werewolf murder? No. No. <laughs> there was a and then Elvis, they're like, there's a lot of lawsuits because he's been dead a couple years. Yeah. So no. Well, Nate, listen. You know, some days you wake up. You are trying to enjoy your favorite porn movie in a theater of your choosing. Lisa. And, and, and Lisa, like, you, stop you talking know, about this. You can't. You can't Lisa, get, how do you really feel? <laughs> tell, tell us how you feel. You can, but look, so you can't watch your movie in peace because of all your ghost friends hanging around, just yeah. talking shit and telling you to kill yourself. Yeah. Which honestly is is fairly close to how our friends are when we usually get together. <laughs> so maybe different, not a whole lot's really different. Different movie choices. <laughs> yeah, right. But look, Nate, it could be a lot worse. Could be worse. Not that bad. For me, it's all about perspective. It's what you make of it. <laughs> stop throwing shit at me. <laughs> God, God, stop it. <laughs> stop. Goodness, I have a... Something Ow. long enough There's for spousal break. abuse happening, out, and I right. love it. This is great. <laughs> All right, uh, Lisa, it could be worse. How could this be worse? Besides having to hear about a porn theater again. Damn it! You <laughs> <saw my brain. laughs> one got yeah. one got it in one more time. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! I took it away. I took that option away. Uh my gosh! How could it be worse? It's pretty bad. Oh, you know how it could be worse? <laughs> she could, he could have gotten the nurse pregnant and now oh, she's going to have a werewolf baby. Oh, is that pot? Ooh. Ooh. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Oh, man. That's really good. Is this what happens in this small town? It's like, hey, before we hook up, you got to get tested. <laughs> <laughs> Staying outside you under the get, full moon. <laughs> I have, here's, here's my sex kennel. <laughs> If you, if you, if, you sex if there's a full moon and what you, does that mean? if you're in the kennel and the full moon happens and then you do not turn, oh my we will hook up. If you, if you are, you stay in there and then we, and then Mate, I, I lose your number. iTunes is not going to approve he, this hold episode. On. He broke into a wolf den <laughs> and you think a kennel is going to keep this werewolf locked in? Yeah, this is a strong, not kennel. a whole lot of protection. <laughs> you know how it's like, oh, 99.9% .9 effective. Yeah. That's the 0.1% that's not, <laughs> Nate. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, <laughs> so here's the thing, right? It could be worse. You, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're making eyes with the, with the hot nurse. You're, yep. you yep. know, things are going great. Yeah. You get back to your room. It's getting all hot and heavy. And then you find out that, oh, the werewolf, like, 
bit off your dick and that's why you're a werewolf. Like, what if you just, that's... You would notice that before. A lot of painful drug medicine. Can I say one more yeah. way it could be worse? They could have run out of hot water in that shower scene because they were in there for like an hour. Yeah, hot water yeah. doing real well. They actually had to build that shower because there's not a lot of showers in London at that time. <laughs> Seriously, they built that shower. Really? I had, I had I have so much trivia they, for this movie. It they, is insane. They built the shower just for some sex. Yes. That's tight. <laughs> Shut it up. My God. Ah. I, can, I can see why Mitch, Mitch finds this a classic, and I'm putting air quotes around it. No one else can see. Um, <sighs> still not even one of the best sex scenes in a horror movie, no. but we'll get to that. In, no. in a All right. So, they, what, what, how could it be worse? <laughs> it could be worse. Look, he, imagine that the person who comes to you first as an apparition mm -hmm. is not your friend, it's like your worst enemy. What if, like, Fran Dresser comes out? What if she gets pregnant? Hi. I like hey, Fran I'm in purgatory. Uh, do you have some beef with Fran Drescher that we don't, we're not aware <laughs> of? I, I, I cannot do a Fran Drescher voice. No. You also. can't do many voices. <laughs> I can do some, just not Fran Drescher. But no, like imagine. Oh, but imagine, you know how, like, uh, I like where you're going with this. Because yeah. I don't know about your school. My school, uh, senior year, they actually did have a, a, a Europe trip. Yeah. Where, you know, the seniors could actually go yeah, like, to England. Yeah, like what if, yeah, you're stuck with like some like high, Rachel like, McAdams from Mean Girls. You're fucking is, high school is talking to you at all times. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Something terrible like that. I mean, it could be a lot worse because your friends like, look, kill yourself. But like, well, I'm going to be nice to you to help to help this happen. But then you're like, I didn't fucking kill you. Go bother someone else. <laughs> and yeah, he, you know what? He does know a lot when he's dead because he knew who came to his funeral. So like he's giving them info. He's he, he's learning about back home. Imagine if someone was just terrible would not give you that information. So he he had it about as well as you could in terms of the first purgatory ghost to come after him. Do you think he he went and haunted uh his yeah his girlfriend that started banging his that other dude when he died? I don't know. I got, I feel like if, if can you or can you only be seen by the person who kills you? I feel like you should be able to move a lamp. They should give you that at least, right? Like, you really need to get into the I'm going to flick a light on and off real quick just to let you know I'm fucking here. Paranormal activity, like the prequel, like real deep prequel. Yeah. You just got to find Whoopi Goldberg. She'll help you out. Yeah. Just just Patrick Swayze, the <laughs> whole situation. Of, like, where's where's the kiln scene? <laughs> Where is that? That's in the sequel. <laughs> but it could be worse. Oh, so, it could be worse. All right. Well, Nate, look, and Lisa... This is a horror movie. Did you just cut me out now. I, and, sorry, and Lisa. and Lisa. I guess it's a horror movie. It is defined as one, but it. You know, I wonder could this work as any other movie? Yes. So uh, the wheel of genres is spinning. We have a horror, a tourist, tourism horror comedy. Yeah. Horror, horror. Two syllables. Horror, yeah. comedy. In London, yeah. okay, but it could be a gangster movie. Well, I mean, what clearly, about that? all right. So, all right, we got the pub, the pub boys. <laughs> so they're really the, a mob. The pub boys. It already works as yeah. like the gangster name. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, if you don't, if you don't give them their fucking money, all right, <laughs> they were they're werewolf say, enforcers. They're werewolf on oh, you. Oh yeah. Well, talk about a collection racket. <laughs> like you have. One of the werewolves is in your crew and you're just like, look, uh, the full moon's coming. Uh, what are you going to do? You know, the problem, like, oh, is, shit. the problem is I feel like that. It, Does they don't have money to extort is the problem. Well, the problem is it'd be, he'd have some stupid ass gangster name that would give it away that he's the vampire, right? Like, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Big Fangs over here is going to fucking. <laughs> Jimmy Big Fangs. <laughs> Jimmy Big Fangs. Oh my gosh. Is that not a gangster name? I don't know. <laughs> Jimmy you're from, Big you're from Chicago. How would this work out? Is that not accurate? <laughs> no, that sounds legit. <laughs> you're, you're crying. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. Jimmy Big Fangs. Yeah. I, oh. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Is that not. That's good. That's, that's, that's the name good. I use when I did mafia, okay. that mafia. <laughs> <laughs> game. Mafia Wars? Yeah. Oh my oh, that's a Mafia Wars reference. Jimmy Big Fang. I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with a, a straight werewolf mafia. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, werewolf mafia. So not werewolf uh, women of the SS. You're going no, more they they werewolf they, mobsters. Yeah, werewolf mobsters. Are they all from Chicago? 
No, I, the, you, you could keep this in Europe. You could like, well, no, but there's like from Chicago, they're going to Europe. And it's like a turf war. Oh, the, oh, so there's like Sicilian werewolves. Yeah. Oh my God, man. Never mess with a Sicilian <laughs> when there's death on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Never mess with a were, with a Sicilian werewolf when there's death on the line. That is the tagline yeah. for my movie. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know if the werewolves. So yours is yours is kind of a small scale. Yeah, sure. Right. Sure. You, you're kind of like. Yeah, this yeah the, the, in the like, werewolves in the enforcer, grips of your right, yeah right. of your. Thing. He's not the Don. Yeah, I'm wondering. See, the thing is, the problem with the werewolves in this movie is that they don't remember anything. Right. So it's hard to like yeah, have. That's good for a, a mobster, right? Yeah, I mean, but you, that's but a then henchman. you can't direct like, okay, I could turn to a werewolf to break into a bank and steal money. You know what I mean? That would be amazing. You can't do like a direct hit. Exactly. So that that's kind of a downside. What about a shot caller? I don't know. But you could just be like, I know I'm gonna kill people, and then like, oh, here's a here's a here's the party for the here's the party for the local politician who's like double crossed me, and then you just like get that guy invited to the party, yeah, and then it's like, oh, uh, and then you just murder everybody. So you could still do it. So kind of like the the club scene in Blade. Yes, you could do it like that. Okay, okay, yeah, that's one of the best scenes in any movie. Any, sorry, yeah, future episode non sequitur. <laughs> we, we we have identified seventeen future movies that we'll be <laughs> doing one episode. on the podcast. Yeah, uh, Lisa, what about you? How how would you make this a crime? Yeah, I, I, I got gangster m- gangster movie. film. I think I threw my ideas out there. That the pub people are uh, a gang. Okay, okay. D- is there some sort of Tommy Gun Silver Bullets scenario? I mean, the lady, the sweet. lady running the the pub definitely's got something up her sleeve back there. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. <coughs> yeah, I mean, it's definitely that that pub is definitely more of a speakeasy, right? Yeah, so, yeah you're saying something shady was going on. Something's going on. No. Okay, this is what yeah. it, what like Guinness talking, from the bottle. We're talking what the drugs. Fuck is we're that? talking drugs. What are we talking here? What, what are we? Hooch. Human trafficking. Hooch. Werewolf trafficking. <laughs> 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 Where is that? Where is oh. that? Where is that in the penal code? Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a, we got a full moon over here. Oh my god! <laughs> no, the chess pieces he was playing with are ivory. Oh, oh, I okay, okay. You let the werewolves run wild, and then to you distract, and then, and then you blame them because it's not poaching. Then you grab it. Exactly. Oh, this is a, you always have to have a patsy. This is a that's, poaching. That's- Poaching mm-hmm. werewolves. Yep. Wow. That is elaborate. I like it. Oh my God. All right. It's well, a, a Netflix documentary waiting to happen. With <laughs> all that said, I need to know what's your final cut? Final cut. <laughs> so Lisa, <laughs> Jimmy, big thanks here. Yeah. What, uh, what are you giving this movie in your final cut? Oh man. I think. What is the first one? What was that accent? I don't know. <laughs> is that, I don't know. Is that I don't not know. a Chicago mobster? What, what it's it's still better than your Fran Drescher. <laughs> well, who can do a Fran Drescher? Oh, I'm gonna try Lisa, now. Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, no, what is that? <laughs> Stop it! It's like I did an air horn. I People, don't... every time you do that, someone unsubscribes. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lisa. Oh. What are you giving this classic? Oh, hard. No. Yeah. <laughs> Negative 100 points for all the porn references. Mm. Probably. Didn't she doesn't need your help. <laughs> uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It was okay. Okay. So I'll give it the better side of middle of the road and we'll go with a six out of 10. What? I cannot believe it's that high. Wow. You can't be that. I mean, it's not bad. Like, there's good parts of it. Like, every yeah. time Jack comes back was really good. Uh, the makeup was really well done. Mm-hmm. I, I think it was just the pacing that bothered me. I really think if they had just kind of thrown a little bit more in there in the middle, then sure. then it would have been a little higher. So you gave the thing a seven. Okay. And you gave this a six. Yeah. That, that sounds, that about, sounds right. about right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That okay. sounds about right. What did I give the thing? Uh, you gave it a, you gave it a 10. That's right. I did give it a 10. I love the Cause, thing. Cause it's very good. Okay. Uh, yeah, for me, um, uh, I, I do love this movie. Uh, I, I feel like you could watch it multiple times and be fine. Um, it doesn't get old. Uh, there's always kind of something new, I guess, you always kind of pick up on. Um, like the werewolf diet plan? Every time he goes to the fridge? 
I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. <laughs> See, there, there's, it's good. There's, yeah, there's little, real, there's little things you pick up. That that's, that's John Land. This, just, yeah, that's John. Land, exactly. Um, it's like, oh, this guy will go on to direct trading places. Like, if okay, you're wanting something that's going to scare the shit out of you, this ain't it. Right? No, this is not it. No. Um, I mean. But it's like some movies done recently where it's surprisingly gory. I should probably yeah. should have thrown that out there a long time ago. It's pretty unsuspecting victim friendly. Yeah. I mean, the gore, yeah. there's not much gore. I, I think, honestly, the heart, the worst part of it is Jack because yeah. he's very gory. And even then, the, the humor's done to undercut that a little yes. bit, too. Yes. It's, it's, not too so it's, um, it's not too bad. Not but to it, the film's detriment, but just, yeah, it's, 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 it's easy to handle if you've got an unsuspecting victim in your life. Yeah. Um just you, make sure make sure that that is not like there's no kids. Right, not yeah. Kid. It's unsuspecting victim friendly, but not kid friendly. Consenting, consenting unsuspecting victim. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um no, so I, yeah, it's it's a great movie. I do agree, Lisa. It does have parts where it does lull a little bit. Um, you know, it's it it is I mean, it really is a harm. You know, it's one of those things, right? John Landis is known more for his comedy. And, you know, you could almost give him a pass, but then we now have two horror movies done by, well, three horror movies done by two different comedians that are terrifying and John oh. Krasinski and Jordan Peele. Sure. So just being a comedian doesn't mean you can't make a scary horror movie. So I'm going to give this um, uh, seven out of 10 uh, porno theater tickets. That's how many you're gonna need for all your ghost friends. One last, one last shot at least. How do you feel about that? <laughs> she's just, she's just already checked out. She gave a review and she's like, "All right, I'm done. I can no, I no longer am obligated to speak of this." Nate, yeah, take so, us home. So I'm now re instantly regretting my child's play score. <laughs> you said you were going to. <laughs> well, you gave that a seven, and this is seven. So yeah, and I, I they're about on par. Wow, I. I don't feel that way. So I'm already instantly regretting it, but that's fine. Uh, this movie is very good. The comedic elements mm -hmm. is great. It's John Landis, right? It's like every yeah. thing thing that's fantastic. Uh, negative points for me, the pacing in the hospital area is just, it's rough. Yeah. It's just a little not enough. They, they, you know, in, you know, Sherlock doctor, uh, you know, kind of cuts a little bit, but yeah. not that much. It, it's, you know, it, it slows down. I feel like a lot of people would look at the main dude and be like, is, do I hate this guy? Yeah. And he's, it could easily be a yes, which would then take your score down. For me, I leaned into how weird that dude is. Yeah. Because he's not like a normal actor. Like the uh, his, Jack, that guy is an actor. He's good at acting. Yeah. This guy's not. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. Right. Would you say that, Lisa? This, was this, David was not like a good actor. Yeah. Right? Like you just don't. Yeah, but he he's didn't, weird. He didn't have to do much, though. Yeah, he had to like. Well, he had to. Do, I mean, I think it was pretty arduous, like shooting the scenes that transformed him into the werewolf. Oh well, yeah, that. No. But I mean, and he lost that Dr Pepper, uh, that yeah. sweet Dr Pepper uh, commercial money. Uh, but no, I re I really like it. Um, the makeup is one of the the best of all time, mm -hmm. uh, probably still. I, I I'm I'm the high score here. I'm gonna give it an eight eight out of ten. Zoo visits. Eight out of ten balloons. Ah, there you go. Because any movie with with streaking, covering yourself with balloons, grabbing a woman's coat, and then waiting in line barefoot for a bus, it's pretty money. Oh, my goodness. That's Our the real backpacking through <laughs> Europe right there. Oh, geez. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week's episode. Nate, where can they find us? You can find us at our website at texaspodcastmassacre.com. Email us questions, concerns, uh, just general motivation for Lisa Texas podcast massacre <laughs> at gmail.com. We appreciate it. Uh, give us a review on iTunes. Uh, we appreciate that as well. Hashtag team Lisa. Hashtag team Lisa keeps me going. So keeps, you go <laughs> keeps Lisa going. Uh, I appreciate it. It's like her with eating people on the full moon. You, she needs that to keep going, right? Uh, you can check us out at TX pod massacre on Twitter. Check out our Facebook group. Instagram, and you can check us on all your other podcast platforms. Yep. Well, thank you all so much once again for tuning in to us here at Texas Podcast Massacre. And just keep telling yourself it's only a movie. Good night. <laughs>